So at this point, you probably have a little something that you can put online. And we'd like to move our web page to the internet from our local site, our local computers. You'll notice my computer screen looks a bit different. I'm recording from my office on campus today. I did transfer over some of my files, so I do have a hard copy here with me. For the most part, between a Mac and a PC, Dreamweaver is going to look relatively the same. You'll notice I've just got bare bones right now, and that in part is because only some of my files are present at the moment but I can still communicate how to move your site to the internet. Now because I switched from because I switched from a Mac to a PC, I need to make some changes to make sure that Dreamweaver realizes where my root folder is now that I've relocated. You'll notice it doesn't offer my local files the way that it did previously. So I do need to set that back up. If at any time you have to jump between one computer and another, you may have to do this as well. This computer doesn't recognize the site that I've produced, so I'll say new site. I'll call it 2100 Spring 17. And I'm going to reference where my root folder is. I put it on my desktop. Right there, there's my website, so I'll choose it. Again, I want to click Local Info and I want to set up where my default images folder is located. So images is right here. I'll choose that. Now on servers, I do need to set this back up as well. So just to kind of recap, your server name is just for your reference. I use Freehostia. So I'm going to type that in. My FTP address is ftp.freehostia.com. If you're not using Freehostia, you will likely be using a different FTP address. Username, password. And web URL. I'm actually going to upload this to my website, but I've made a folder on Freehostia already, so I'm specifying the unique URL, my domain name, but as well as the folder that I'd like it to be placed in once I do put that online. If I come to my browser, I've logged in, and you'll notice I'm inside of the file manager section of Freehostia, and I've made a folder here, DAG2100, so that's what I'm going after at the moment. So that's what I'm going after at the moment. So I will test this. Dreamweaver has connected to your web server successfully. Excellent. I'll click OK. I'll click Save. And I will click Save. Alright, so it has mapped out my... When I saved, it only brought over the index.html. It looks like my CSS didn't get saved, but that's OK. That's enough to communicate how to make this work. So we've set up our root folder. We've got our host all set up. Dreamweaver and the host are talking to one another at this point. So now what we need to do is we need to transfer our files. We want to take all of these files here that we've produced, designed, taken time with, images, HTML documents, CSS files, if those are here, and we want to put those online. So in the Files panel, right now we're looking at the local view. You see this little icon up here that looks like, um, like a plug getting plugged into an extension cord. It looks like two plugs and it's got a little X. If I click this, this is going to connect to my remote server and it's going to think. And once you've got the little checkbox and you've got this happy little globe right here with the little checkbox. This means that you are now connected. So now I am connected to this computer and my host. They're connected to one another and they can see the files on each. So I'm going to click this little icon up here, expand to show local and remote sites. So I'm going to click that. So this gives us basically 
a bird's eye view of what we have currently locally so this is just a visual of my files panel and remote and it breaks down everything that I've currently got on my host if I were to open my browser really quick and I'll shrink that to be seen side by side with this you'll notice that these files and these files they might be a little rearranged but it's all the same stuff so if I want to take my local files and I want to place them over here remotely so that they do go online and they are hosted what I'm gonna do is I will either select specific files or entire folders I want to take my entire root folder here and put it here so once I've selected what specifically I want to relocate you can also shift click to pick that as well and I'm going to put that file and what that does is it takes all of my local files and puts it where I've asked it to go so I click that and it is uploading my files it's going to give you a question should dependent files be included I will say yes all right now we don't notice anything different at the moment I'll go ahead and click the refresh button here there we go so there are my images here's my index file and my CSS which was empty appears empty here so whenever you use that put function that's the arrow that looks like it's pointing up that's going to take all of your files here and place them remotely take your local files and put them remotely if I pick the other one get files this works in the opposite way in that you can take files that are saved to your remote server to your host and get them on your computer so if you do need to bounce around from one device to another in order to perhaps transfer files to continue working if you work on multiple devices you can do that now that particular transfer of information didn't necessarily place it in the proper folder I had wanted now I had wanted these images and my index file and my CSS folder I wanted these items to go inside of the DIG 2100 folder if they didn't go in the right place that's okay you can click and drag to put them in the correct location so I will say yes and it will make that transfer index goes there yes CSS folder goes with that too yes so now I should theoretically have all of my content there once you've completed rearranging and adjusting your content here you can collapse click the same icon and it will collapse that back into the side panel now you don't have to open up the local and remote sites if you just if you make a change to something for instance let's go ahead and add some CSS back in Not for right now I'll come in you'll notice I have my CSS document here in order to upload content I don't necessarily have to click expand to show local and remote sites I can just select what I want to alter and opt to put it now let's see I did not save this so the bacon file has not has been modified do you wish to save the file before putting I will say yes to all what this is going to do is any files even though I'm only putting that CSS file any files associated with it are also going to save I'll click yes to all now that dependent files section if you want to copy a file that's inside a folder that doesn't exist and I'll click yes that doesn't exist on the remote server Dreamweaver creates the same folder on the server too so you did notice when we uploaded our content 
it made an images folder and it made a CSS folder on our behalf. You'll notice here it made an additional one. I'll go ahead and relocate that. Tell it yes. If you want to choose to transfer dependent files, Dreamweaver streamlines that process. So now I've made an, an, an alteration here. I don't need to open up this window in order to place it over while it's set up in the files panel to the right side. I can just select it and put that to the remote. But another option that is really useful is the synchronize icon. It's two arrows that make a circle. This is a wonderful option because this can allow Dreamweaver to do a lot of the hard work for you. And so instead of you, so you make a bunch of updates and you're not sure which files are the newer ones or the older ones, you can synchronize the entire website and put only the newer files here to the remote. So I'll click preview and it'll kind of jump through there and take a look. It will give you a bird's eye view of what is new and what isn't. I can put it but I can also opt to delete that file, which will take it off of my local file, or mark it as synchronized. So I know that these files have already been synchronized, therefore it'll take them off the list. And I had uploaded bacon already, so that's been taken care of. Another option that you can offer in relation to your files is something that's called cloaking. Essentially what cloaking is, is it will allow for your file to stay on the local side, but if perhaps it's something that's a work in progress or a file that you don't need. If you made a graphic in Photoshop, not everyone has Photoshop that can open that file, so you wouldn't necessarily need to upload it to your host. So if there's a particular file that you just don't plan on using on your web page yet, but perhaps you don't want to throw it out, you can right click on that file and go to cloaking and cloak it and it puts a little red slash through the icon of that object and what that means is it'll keep that file locally but if you were to synchronize or put your website remotely it would not upload this file to your host if there are certain file types that you want to cloak automatically, perhaps not doing it all by hand, I'll come up to Site, Manage My Site, select the site in question, and under Advanced Settings, you'll notice that there's a section called Cloaking. And I can automatically cloak specific file types without having to do anything extra. So, as an example, I've got a JPEG cloaked here. If I wanted to make all of my JPEGs start out being cloaked, and I don't recommend that because JPEGs are something you will be using, but if you wanted to cloak JPEGs and JPGs, I'll click Save. It will adjust my cache. I'll click OK. I'll click Done, and you'll notice it automatically cloaked each file type that pertained to that extension. Now obviously JPEGs I wouldn't want to cloak. I would use them regularly. So I will go back in, go back into an advanced settings, and I'm just going to delete those particular file types. And it will uncloak the ones that were automatically cloaked. To uncloak here, uncloak as well. Moving your files to your host isn't difficult. Some of the steps may be a little bit different in regards to folders and files depending upon your host's setup and the permissions that you have set, but theoretically once you move these files to your remote host you should be able to type in your URL and view your content without problem.